Hey, I'm Siobhan and welcome to Finalysis. In this episode, we're going to be showcasing a great example of how quick decisions by drivers can swing the lead of a match, especially with the increase of D-score play that we've been seeing recently. We'll be breaking down Finals 3 of the WPI Signature event, where on the red alliance we have 5150D and 9364E, and on the blue alliance we have 9364V and 7405R. The Red Alliance comes back from an Auton, last, uh, Auton loss in just the last couple seconds of the match to win the event by just 7 points. So you'll want to look out for the moments where the Red Alliance capitalizes on mistakes by Blue, especially with the middle goals. So let's dive in and let us know your thoughts on Finalysis. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Build your alliance and discover why so many Vex alumni choose Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu slash Vex to learn more about their incredible programs and get more information. Did you know that fun has awesome merch options including game theme merch available at funroboticsnetwork.com slash merch from cute thematic options to robots and fun themed apparel you can directly support fun and look good at the same time you can also become a fun member or supporter through youtube join to get early access to most of our content thank you for your continued support on the red alliance we have 5150d and 9364e and on the blue alliance we have 7405r and 9364v the autonomous routines are pretty simple with all of them trying to score as many points as they can but you'll notice that a lot of teams have been trying to guarantee that control zone in Autonomous, which kind of takes away from what other points they might be able to score in that 15 seconds, but it also guarantees that they're able to start off the match with the control zone. So you'll see that both the Red Alliance down here and the Red Alliance up here try to get, the, get that control zone, but Blue Alliance up here, I believe they are able to get it just by scoring uh, more balls in that, in that long goal. Um, but down here, Red Alliance still gets that, and they also get the middle goal but I think it still ends up um, a blue autonomous win just because they have more balls and they have that long goal control zone um, up here so that's going to give them that 10 point bonus which will be pretty advantageous for them because we know that if you have that 10 point bonus you're pretty much able to just kind of sit around and make sure that you're keeping one long goal control and uh, try and guarantee that you're able to get at least one of the middle goals um, and with the park you're pretty much guaranteed to win the match so the red alliance knows they have a lot of work to make up um, especially with that losing the autonomous and they're losing on balls right now. Um, but you'll notice here that Red Alliance is actually starting off with a good position. Even though they lost autonomous, the position of their robot itself on the field is pretty good for them because you'll notice that they already have their wing right there in the goal and they have a couple red blocks and the blue blocks are all at the end of the goal here. And the blue alliance that's closest is all the way here at the middle goal and the middle goal they don't even have owned. Um, so if the Blue Alliance wants to obtain this uh, long goal, they're going to have to come here, line up with their wing, and try and de-score. Whereas the Red Alliance already has their wing in here, so all they have to do is swipe those balls out. Um, and I believe that's exactly what they do here as we as we approach the start of driver control. Um, and you'll see the pretty similar thing on the other side here with the Red Alliance, or sorry, um, on the other long goal. Um, however, the Red Alliance doesn't have as many blocks in that long goal, and the Blue Alliance has a lot more blocks, um, even though they're set up a little bit worse, just because they're not exactly in that long goal. But I still think that the Blue Alliance, um, if they're just able to get a swipe in there, they're going to be able to descore those two blocks from the Red Alliance. So it just comes down to how fast these drivers can react. And here we are, starting in driver control. The Red Alliance immediately gets that, guarantees that control zone. Blue Alliance tries to get as fast as they can, um, to make sure that they're not starting off at a disadvantage like we mentioned. Blue Alliance up here, they are getting that advantage, they get that control zone. Um, and Blue Alliance down here, that's 9364B I believe. Uh, they're doing their best to get that, that those blue balls in the control zone. Red Alliance, it's kind of just a pushing battle down here on this long goal. And so you'll see here that Red Alliance knows they, don't, they can't afford a pushing battle on both of these long goals. So 5150D they immediately give up on that long goal. And it's pretty smart because regardless of where they end up in this match, it, it, or where they end up with this long goal control zone, if the Red Alliance is just fighting for this whole match, the Blue Alliance down here, they can give up this long goal pretty much, and they can just go straight for the middle goals. And considering that the Red Alliance doesn't have the autonomous bonus, they cannot afford to lose any of these middle goals. So 5150D, they immediately go for the middle goals, which is pretty smart um, because it gives the opportunity for the Blue Alliance to kind of roam free and when you're roaming free i believe at least in my opinion you're kind of getting the opportunity to make mistakes so the red alliance 
they guarantee that middle goal control and they let the blue lines kind of get an opportunity to make mistakes and here they are the blue lines tries to match load but they kind of they kind of let the long goal control zone open and here the blue or sorry the red alliance is able to obtain some balls um but down here you'll notice that the blue alliance uh they had they won that pushing battle and they're able to guarantee that long goal control zone um and it's still a fight down here the red alliance pushes it back but blue alliance just has more balls in that long goal control zone they get rid of um all the red balls so red alliance once again on the back foot um and when you're in this situation i think if you're ever ever trying to push balls or you're in a wing battle i think it's important that you're having as many balls for your alliance in your intake as possible so that way if you de-score, if you happen to de-score all the balls in the long goal control zone, for example, if you accidentally knock everything out, you're able to immediately score, re-score any balls that you might have lost. So even if you're de-scoring your own balls and you're de-scoring your opponent's balls, you have those balls and you intake immediately to re-score. So it's really important that throughout the match you're guarantee or you're uh, considering how many balls are in your intake, um, which I think a lot of people are kind of ignoring the match loads now that we see the scores are getting lower. But I think. I think you're still it's still vital to um, consider exactly how many balls you're implementing into the field. And so the Red Alliance is doing exactly that. They're making sure that they're no matter what they're doing on the field, they're gearing, they're considering how many balls they have in their intake. And those red balls they can be used for both the middle goals. They can also be used for the long goal um, if they want to descore. And here we'll see that the Red Alliance immediately goes uh, for that long goal, and they get one, two, three, four, and four is just those four balls get immediately descored by the blue lines. And here is where I think you're seeing the driver, just the skill of the drivers kind of coming out because the blue lines, they immediately descore those red balls. The, the red alliance kind of getting nervous here. They have to intake as many as they can to get those three blue blocks out. And those three blue blocks are kind of hard to access because this one is almost fully enclosed and these other two are fully enclosed. And this red block here, pretty much fully enclosed. So. Red Alliance really has to score. They have to do two things here to get those blue blocks out. They have to score and they have to pull their wing out and de-score. Um, so the Red Alliance has a lot of work to make up. Um, and here you are. It's kind of at a standstill. Blue Alliance uh, has a really smart strategy where they're just going to sit in front of Red Alliance as Red Alliance scores. And they know if Red Alliance ever pulls out of this uh, kind of this this end of the long goal, that Blue Alliance can just quickly de-score those red blocks. And to combat that, this red alliance 5150D, they come here, they knock the blue alliance out of that position, and this gives just enough time for 9364 to get ready and to de-score, or sorry, to, to get that control zone and de-score those blue blocks. And you see they do exactly that. And this is about 15 seconds left. We barely have enough time for the blue alliance to come back. And if you remember here, the blue alliance was up for the rest the, for the whole match. Up until now, the blue alliance gets descored. The red alliance is able to guarantee that control zone in just the last ten se the last 15 seconds. But that's not it. The blue alliance gets a little bit nervous here. The blue alliance is starting to try and see how many points they can get in the last couple seconds. So they park, and this gives the opportunity for red to go for those long goal, uh, those sorry, those middle goals. And they do that here. Let's let's rewind for a second. Um. The red alliance as soon as the blue alliance parks they notice that and they go for that that lower goal and even though that lower goal isn't worth too many points it is still worth a lot in the grand scheme of, in the grand scheme of things when the points are getting so close and it's coming down to the auton bonus it's coming down to the park um and so this is really vital they guarantee that long goal or that low goal they already have that middle goal and they have the long goal so even though that the blue alliance has this long goal and the autonomous um and they have this park i believe the red alliance also has that park so the parks are cancelled out these parks don't matter and all it comes down to is that long goal and that um that autonomous bonus and so effectively the blue alliance has only about 20 points plus however many balls they scored but it looks like the red alliance scored a little more balls they have one two three four i think maybe five or six so they're up on balls, they have more control zones, they're just down on autonomous. And that adds up to a win for Red Alliance. And all of this win, all of these points were honestly gained in the last 20 seconds, I can say, um, where the Red Alliance pulls out an amazing strategy of teamwork and some amazing driver control or driver play where they're able to get that, that 
D score on the uh, the blue lines. D scoring just enough. They didn't D score their own red balls, um, but they D scored all the blue balls. You can see they ended up over here, and the blue lines can't do much at this point because the if the red or if the blue lines tries to rescore any of these balls, the red lines is a perfect place to just quickly D score those balls again. If that kind of makes sense. So red lines kind of set themselves up here for a last second play where blue lines is going to get nervous. Blue lines won't know what they're going to do. And like I said here, Blue Alliance goes straight for that park, um, which is kind of a move that I think a lot of teams play when they're getting nervous instead of trying to guarantee those long goal control zones or get those middle goal control zones. And it is pretty smart because those those control zones aren't as guaranteed as a park might be. Um, and honestly, if Blue Alliance could pull off a double park, they would win, they would win this match. Um, but unfortunately, they couldn't pull off a double park. I don't even know if they have the capability for it. Um, so... It was really up to those long goal control zones, the autonomous bonus, and most vitally, the uh, the middle goals. Um, so what I think this tells us about where the game is progressing is really it's becoming a driver game. I mean, we saw an autonomous that autonomous set these teams up. Let's go back here. It set this red alliance up to D score immediately these balls, these blue balls, and honestly, they didn't do it perfectly. But the blue alliance kind of was on a little bit of a disadvantage seeing as they're right over here which is a long distance away from this long goal um and we go back here to start a driver control blue alliance has to make this up they're already at the wrong i guess the wrong angle for their wing to get in that long goal and red alliance has that long long goal control zone um but the driver control or sorry these drivers are so talented that they're able to get that control zone back um, we honestly ignored this top control zone, this top long goal, because you'll see, as I mentioned earlier, that 5150D immediately gives up on it. And they know that all they want to do is get those middle goal control zones. Um, so this long goal pretty much remained blue, I think, throughout the match. We didn't see any sway. And I think that's really smart. I think giving up and making sure you have your priorities straight when you're losing on autonomous it's pretty vital because the blue alliance here, I think they honestly didn't realize what the red alliance's strategy was. And even if they did, the red alliance has a little bit of a leg up because the red alliance, they're kind of 1v2ing down here on this on this long goal. And we saw that here uh, kind of at the end of the match where, uh, let's find it. Here they are. It's a 1v2. The One of the red alliances is just kind of pushing this blue alliance off and the other red, red alliance is able to descore. And the blue alliance here is focusing on those middle goals, which are important, but this red alliance is in a perfect position to play defense and play defense on this long goal. So these strategies are developing to those millisecond decisions by the drivers. Um, and honestly, it's kind of a flow chart. You can imagine if you lose autonomous, you have a couple options. You have the option to give up on, on your long goal. You have the option to go for the middle goals. Um, and so each of these decisions lead to another tree of decisions and if you imagine that in your head as a driver you're kind of able to understand exactly where you're going to need to go um for example if you lose autonomous or if you win autonomous and these these quick decisions can be made really on the spot if you're if you're a driver if you're on the drive team and so understanding these decisions watching a lot of gameplay and seeing where the, the points will end up scattered throughout the match i think that's the most important part and we'll see those those strategies developed throughout the year but i think we're ending up with as i mentioned earlier driver control becoming the most important part of this match autonomous has to set you up perfectly but those 10 points you honestly lose them pretty fast and you lose those control zones pretty fast uh depending on how you set yourself up so as a, as important as autonomous is and that autonomous bonus is it really depends on how you set yourself up and how under how good of a grasp you have on driver control strategy um, so I think that's where we're going, and I think it's really important that drivers and teams understand that uh, for the rest of this season. We have about five months left until Worlds, four months left until Worlds, and as we see these matches develop, we have a couple signatures event, a couple signature events, um, which I think we're going to see the highest level of strategy before Worlds, and by Worlds, um, it's really going to come down to those quick decision making, those those little talents that these drivers have. Um, where the drivers are going to get a little bit of an edge. Um, and I think the robot won't really matter. The capacity won't really matter. How many balls you score or how many balls you can hold. 
it won't matter as much as people thought probably in early season um but being able to get those d scores off that's what really is going to matter so that's something we can take away and i think it's something vital that wpi has shown us uh, for the signature event. in this match these drivers optimize their position after autonomous to make quick strategic decisions red alliance prioritized the bottom half of the field in order to guarantee at least 18 points in control zones but blue alliance held the lead for the majority of the match especially considering their autonomous bonus however they scrambled at the end of park and lost vital points this was a great example of what you might see at the highest level of world matches, and it provides good insight of how the game is developed. So let us know in the comments of how you feel that the Blue Alliance could have played this match in order to keep their autonomous lead. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Fun for more robotics related content. I'm Siobhan, and thank you so much for watching Finalysis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interests, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu vex.